appreciate it. Well, tonight, IMPD's chief of police, Randall Taylor, is set to discuss the protests and the messages in Circle City. Be questioned by criminal justice committee members, and you will have a chance to watch it live. Alexa Green joining us live outside of IMPD headquarters with a preview of the meeting. Alexa, good morning. Good morning to you, Angie and Ray. Well, it's certainly been a busy few weeks for IMPD. As you mentioned tonight, we're going to hear directly from the chief. He'll have a chance to speak with committee members and tell them what officers have experienced over the past few weeks during some of these protests that we have seen. Now, we're expecting some tough questions to be asked. That, of course, includes questions about IMPD's use of force policy. Even before some of these protests here in Indianapolis, city leaders claim they have been working on police reform. IMPD has submitted a revised use of force, of force policy, and that includes prohibiting chokeholds and updating the department's requirement for identification and warning before deadly use. Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears also will be speaking with counselors tonight. And earlier this month, Mears said he would not be filing charges against those peaceful protesters who took to the streets of the Circle City. As long as it's a, it's a situation where you're not hurting anybody else physically and you're not uh, hurting or damaging someone's property and taking their property, uh, you have a constitutional right and we're going to protect that right. Instead, Mayor says he's going to focus on charging the individuals who are responsible for looting and damaging some of the downtown businesses and property. This morning, we could tell you as we look around, several businesses here in downtown still are boarded up. A lot of them, a lot of the damage that we could see, it still has not been fixed. Back to tonight's meeting, it all kicks off at 5.30. Residents can tune in online and virtually. We do have a website or the link to that on our website, fox59.com. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.